Now, The Sinking City. I saw this game, and at first, I didn't really think much of it. I was just like, heh, you know what I mean? And then I realized that it actually reminds me a lot of a dream I had, and I like had this dream repeated like nine different times. So I was just like, I, I felt really, like, I was just like, okay, I have to play this game. Plus, it looks like a really cool game. It's not identical to my dream, but it's definitely, like, the same vibe of, like, the city and everything. I just, after Boulder's Gate and Void Train kind of finished off, I was just left, like, okay, I don't want to hop into anything just yet. Let's just, or I did, and I just, like, I was just, like, I was kind of jumping back and forth. I was, like, in that mood where you have a bunch of games to play, but you don't know what to play. That type of thing, and I was just like, you know what? I just won't touch anything for like two days. I did that, and now I am ready to play this game. However, my friend just asked me a question. Let me see what he what he's up to before we continue into this game. But I am so pumped and excited for this game. You don't even believe it. I'm only I I, I don't think I've seen I seen just the trailers that are on Steam, right, and the pictures, and this game just looks absolutely awesome. Like I am so hyped for it. I set the settings. To give me no hints at all, but normal combat. So the difficulty for combat is normal. The difficulty for, like, everything else is on the hardest. Just because I'm like, you know what, that sounds super cool for this game. Now, if you don't know anything about this game, this is, like, a Sherlock's home slash, like, investigation game. But with, like, a supernatural, I kind of... To me, it looks like the guy just has schizophrenia. But you never know. Anyways, let's get into this. This is going to be... I'm really hoping that this ends up being, like, one of my favorite games. I just I have a feeling, I just have a feeling that it's going to be. I don't get that feeling very often. Now, let's dive into the sinking city. Welcome, dear Mr. Charles Reed. As you requested, I've researched the outburst of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases indeed were frequent here. Men and women across the country are drawn to Oakmont. Haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon a source of your... ailment, And the person who might help you with it, prepare yourself. Then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here, help you on your way, Gordon. Jonas Van Derberg. Here we go. This is gonna be great. I know it is. I think I need to adjust this to some pitch. This light's a little bright. You see, their, their faces are all zombies. Now, I heard he was a vet. He's a vet. So, he, he was in the war. So, he definitely has PTSD. I might wear my glasses for this one. Because I haven't been feeling... Yet great, and this will probably help because I've probably been getting too much blue light. Oh, I can't see anything at all with these, they're dirty. What the heck? That was freaking me out. I don't know what it was like. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Also, let me show off my new keyboard. This little ball. Aha, you see this? Ain't this a sexy keyboard? That actually looks really cool on my camera. <laughs> Whoa. Those lights show up, wait, does it actually look that way when I look at it? It doesn't even look close to what it shows on there. It looks way cooler on my camera. E is not to interact. 
Okay. The BMH? BMB? I can't see what that last letter is. It's a little bit blurry. You know what? This is a nice little pistol. I hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. Gotta get my mouse into the right position. We're just all getting started. Getting comfortable, alright? Get your popcorn, get your soda. Alright. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be pressing E on so many things. What? Coils and some stuff? Okay. Trust a tourist advertisement. Are those boobies I see on that poster? Is that a jaguar fighting people on a mountain with the Indian coming? There's a lot of detail in this game. I know the graphics are on Ultra and they're a little bit on the shady side, but I like it. This is actually, I I really like the style of these graphics right here. This is where this is like peak graphics to me. Like hyper realistic graphics aren't my cup of tea this right here where it's like there's still stunning graphics but there's just a little bit of graininess to it you know this leaves wonder to me whoa what, what button did i just push q what is that okay now get out why does it look like you have c4 on now your chest out. is that all you're gonna say to me now get out that's all he's gonna say to me who is this guy? At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally That's a really nice suit, kinda. Flesh. It's yellow, so I don't like it, but it looks I guess. Johannes Van der I guess it looks it looks like a nice suit. It looks good. I would never wear it, but it does look good. The moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please or at least the suit looks cool. Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. I don't know how to explain it. Alas, now is not its it's an interesting power. suit. I've never really seen a yellow oh, suit. It is its most important. About my problem. What's the deal with this city? Nice suit! Yep, that's what I was saying. Eye-catching suit. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. No, I skipped it on accident. I was sitting there and my fingers got a little too heavy on the mouse. Well, what about my problem? You, you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to invest. I feel like it's a little bit quiet. I need to turn up my headphones. Yes, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Where is Robert Thorogamorton? <laughs> I definitely screwed that name over. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to stand out. Um, I made a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's Whenever I listen to things, I always point my left don't ear don't and like by its at the person. <laughs> I'm doing that right now. I just kept noticing that I'm just like, I turned my head this way and I'm just like looking in. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get to Devil's Reef? This is what do you do here? You fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg. I host a philosophy club for the like-minded. So can't really have much of a. I accidentally clicked the mouse again. These days, there is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Something's not right with my setup right now. I'm screwing up. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Yeah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. 
What else did you mark on my map? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper, places you'll need to get to them. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Bye. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Okay, I tried really hard to listen to that because I don't know anything about this game yet. There's a lot of squids everywhere. I do feel like the audio is just a little bit weird and I would like to adjust that. So, I'm thinking sound effects down. Music definitely needs to go down a little bit. I'll keep sound effects above the music. Voices need to be a bit louder. Ambient, I'll keep that right about there. I feel like I feel like these settings right here this should this should help with the audio I'm thinking because otherwise it was just I don't know there was something off about the audio how it was set right there I really just want to take in this game because I, I I don't know I've never played a game like I don't I don't know I'm, I don't even know what to say I did, I, I did not do no research before getting into this one and I never even knew this game existed b before yesterday so yeah, there is that. And it's just like... I'm taking it all in because I feel like this is going to be a pretty big adventure. Because I've never just played a new game... That I've... That like... Is seemingly looking like it's one of the... Like, like a big game that I've never seen before. You know what I mean? Something like that. This game hasn't come across... I've never seen like any little footage or little shorts or just nothing besides yesterday when I watched the trailers on Steam twice a piece. I like this rain though. I'm assuming that's the guy that's supposed to help me. I don't care about your petty excuses. He looks like a no monkey. One leaves the port until my son is found and that is final. Uh <clears throat> Uh, he looks like a monkey. Me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Why does he look that way? Your features are unusual. I'm asking about his face immediately. I don't care. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Okay. What about your son? If I may ask, what happened to your son? I still can't get past his face, though. What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Um... What do you know about the visions? You're the man to speak to about. It was one of those games where, like, I don't really need to read it because I click it. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. 
Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish face freaks have overrun this city. You're calling them fish freaks? You look like King Kong, bro. Those filthy migrants occupy half this Sorry, I, I just think over his face. I had to say Port, something else. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees. <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and Oh my goodness, you have so much upper lip, bro. Family. We are the pillar of this community. And bro's lineage is straight from Neanderthal, bro. Like, they haven't got the update for evolution yet. They are a big stinking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Vera? I'm actually curious what that means. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. It is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Okay, I don't know why he's getting so upset about me wanting to know what boathouse it was. I mean, it might have been a different boathouse. Is there a map on here? Okay, there's a map. Let's see how big this map is. Oh my goodness, it keeps going! Like, I was thinking maybe it would just have been the, these four, and then I saw this, and I'm like, yeah, and then this? This is a decent, chunky-sized map. This kind of looks like the own dock, but it could have been this over here, you know what I mean? Oh my, one of my dogs outside. Oh, oh, I'll be right back. They're not supposed to be outside.